not trying to ring you. Why? What's the problem? Aaron. What now? Has he said anything to you about going away? No, no, he's supposed to be covering my death for the yard. Why? Right, well, he's gone missing, along with his passport and a load of clothes. What? No way. He won't just take off. Chaz reckons it's to do with her and Gordon. Oh, I don't believe this. Why won't he say anything? When I was 12, I got into this stupid row with Sandra. She was trying to stop me going out with my mates. I was calling her all sorts. I broke my sister's favourite doll. And that night... I should have been able to stop him. He was still a kid. I just kept quiet. I couldn't talk about it. I just felt... dirty and ashamed. I went proper off the rails. But I promised it would never happen again. And did it? A few years later, Sandra caught me nicking some booze. The anger in his face, I knew it was coming. I just felt... trapped. I lashed out and I hit Sandra. All that time, and I end up hitting the wrong person. What kind of a bloke does that make me? I wonder if I have to deal with too much for too long. He kicked me out. Best thing he ever did. Part of me wanted to tell my mum, but I knew she'd only blame herself. She'd have helped. She loves you. What could she have done? I was out of there, that's all that mattered. You have to tell her. What's the point? She's back with him now, she'll just... She'll think I'm making it up. Aaron, she'll believe you. You have to tell her. I can't. You have to. I can't. Neither can you. You think I'm overreacting, don't you? But I know Aaron, and I know when he's going into self-destruct. Not overreacting, exactly. More like overcompensating for walking out when he was a kid. I'm not the only one who gave up on him. I'm not having a go. Look, Aaron doesn't want us wading in. Look how he reacted when I offered him that money. You have to let him make his own mistakes and trust that he'll come to you if he needs you. And in the meantime, show him you're getting on with your life. By letting you buy into this place. Well, it'd be one last side to rob it. <sighs> I suppose. Look, we'll do things properly. We get the market rate done through solicitors. I'm no pressure about me moving in or not. I know it's too soon to be even thinking about that. But you'd own half of everything. You'd have full control over the residential side. And the pub side, if that's what you wanted. I'd be a silent partner. Look, this was meant to be. Everything happens for a reason. I know it's fine on each other oh, again, will it? You don't have to bang on for a silent partner. Well? Is that a yes? <laughs>